Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Brittany and I talk all things beauty here on my channel. So in today's video, I'm super excited because I got in from Odin's Eye Cosmetics, the new Soul Main 2 collection. Um, I'm super, super excited because I have, I feel like this took a, like quite a while to get to me if I'm being honest, but I have got three blushes, a highlighter, and the eyeshadow palette to play with in today's video. So if you love indie brands, if you love beautiful shiny makeup then please keep watching so I thought I could just do um, kind of just go on into it because I have got a lot of products to talk about today so this packaging like no joke it is so so good it came in the blushes came in these three beautiful boxes and not to mention oh my word like I cannot get over it the blush packaging look how beautiful that is and the highlighter came in the purple box right here very very like luxurious feeling packaging it's kind of like that smooth soft touch to it I like I don't want to throw these away I can't do it they're just so pretty I'm not throwing them away I don't know what I'm gonna do but I just I cannot get rid of the packaging like I'm a hoarder I have got like a huge organizer full of like packaging and like the unicartons because I don't want to throw them away I just can't do it and then this is the eyeshadow palette it came in this sleeve just like the Odin's Eye palette um the Hello palette in collaboration with Angelica Nikvist I absolutely love this sleeve because I get to keep the packaging and that makes me so happy I wish all brands would have the packaging sleeve that you could just kind of like put your palette in and it's super easy instead of the box I think this is like perfect and I wish every brand did that um because I don't like throwing away the packaging and I don't have to throw away the sleeve <laughs> but yeah let's just get on into the beautiful products and also I got a free brush cleaner I thought they were gonna give out the like a double-sided brush but I don't know this showed up it's super pretty um I don't know exactly how to use it let me know it's just like a little canister um and then let's see it's got this in there do you just like do this to your brush I honestly I really don't know so please let me know how do I use this <laughs> My husband just called and it completely got me off track. So I'm sorry if there's like a weird jump. But yeah, please let me know how to use the brush cleaner um, because I literally don't know how. <laughs> but it's super cute and I love the little packaging. Um, so that was super sweet. A free gift with purchase. Um, okay, let's just go over the blushes. So I got three of the dewy blushes. I really wanted all five of them or six of them. But... Uh, I can't afford that <laughs> but I got three of the dewy blushes because I just can't help it they were so so cute so starting off this is the rosette love it's more of a pinky blush and then I have got the other two are more of the orange kind of peachy lean in so this one is sienna luster this one is a beautiful just stunning peach like I cannot wait to put this like all over my face and then the third blush that I picked up it's peach gleam now this one's a little bit more darker um I feel like this one the other one should be called peach gleam but still this is more it's definitely peachy but it's not as uh shimmery as the others and honestly I was swatching this because I'm in the middle of kind of like making a reel for Instagram and I noticed that it's kind of like an overspray so I don't know if the glitter is going to stay. My dog is barking if you hear her I'm so sorry <laughs> but I'm just going to go in with the oh and also let me show you the highlighter. I got the shade Warm Sunshine and I love this purple packaging. I'm kind of being on theme. I've got my moon and star earrings. I've got like my sun and moon shirt you know. I have to go all out, you know, because I have all might as well. But yeah, so I'm super excited. So I just thought before we do the eyes, let's do the cheeks and the highlighter. So I'm going to do the highlighter um, first because I'm like so excited because it's so beautiful. Okay, and you like on the embossments, it's a beautiful moon. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see it with all like the lights and stuff, but um it just looks stunning because I want to do the highlighter before I do the blushes because the blushes are so luminous. So I really want to, whoa, oh my word, <laughs> that, I want all of them. I want all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, these, okay, so go in with a light hand if you picked up this collection. Um, just kind of go, mm, okay, because we are glowing. Oh yeah, that's better. 
this is so beautiful it's like a burnt orange it's like a sunset like the sunsets shining on your face it's really orangey with red mm, beautiful it's definitely a little bit out there for me for a highlighter but when I'm self tanned this is gonna look perfect and I'm super excited but yeah so this is what the highlighter is looking like we're um a little glowy or over here but that's okay it's not really i put on cream products and it's kind of not going well over because i didn't set the cream yet but uh it's still very pretty so let's do the blushes now i only have two cheeks so how am i gonna do this okay we're gonna go in with sienna luster on this side and then the others over here maybe one on my nose i don't know okay let's get my fluffy bl uh, brush blush brush good lord say that five times fast okay so definitely lots of shimmer on this one so i'm just gonna kind of pat all around and go in Ooh. okay maybe just one pat next time oh that is so bold oh my word okay noted note to self these are so pigmented okay that's okay it's okay everything's fine it's fine I'm fine. Let's go on with Peach Gleam. No, I lied. I'm going to go on with the pink one over here. If I could open it. Where is, how do I open it? There we go. Okay. Probably went over too much, but that's okay. I just want to really show y'all the color of it. Whoa, that is so pretty. I went in with the other side, I believe. <laughs> if I can remember right. Whoa, so pinky, peachy. I love it. I'm definitely glowing because I put the highlighter on first, but that's okay. I'm not going anywhere today. Okay, now we're going to go in with the shade Peach Gleam, and I'm going to put this on my nose. Let me just clean my brush off, like so. All right, this one's dark. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, okay, I'm going to too much. I'm going to tap some off. Okay. <laughs> Honey, that ain't going to cut it. We got to, I need help come help me oh my gosh okay I'm gonna get a different brush I haven't watched any review <laughs> any reviews on this yet oh my word the pigmentation is crazy it's like Pat McGrath pigmented so just go in with like one boop that's all you need because um she's pigmented but it blends out super easy but just know if you pick this up it's so pigmented but that means it's going to last a long time. It's so pretty. Now I'm going to go in with my little beauty sponge and just kind of like, you know, help this. Where's my setting spray? Because we are glowing. So I'm just going to set my face before we get into the eyes. But I'm so excited about those face products. Are you kidding? Wow. Okay. That's a little bit more toned down, but we're still, honey, we are golden and we are popping. I love, love the blushes and the highlighter. I don't have a favorite. They're all so pretty and unique, and that's why I got all three of them. I wanted all the blushes, but I was like, girl, you got to reel it in. Pick, pick your favorite three, okay? Yes, these are a win. I love them so much. Now, let's jump into the eyeshadow palette. Now, I'm wearing blue. I'm a little intimidated when it comes to blue eyeshadow, but that's okay. I want to play with some blue today. And if I can move... Oh, I also wanted to show you this big Easter box that it came in. I just absolutely love Odin's Eye. I have the Hella palette right here, that box. It came... Uh, that's the box that it came in and I kept it because, like I said, I cannot throw away the packaging. And I'm sorry, but indie brands... They do it best. Their packaging is like top notch. Okay, so we have got blush highlighter popping. Now let's do the eyeshadow. So this is what the palette looks like. I cannot, guys. And it feels like a material I've never felt before. It's, um, I, don't, I can't describe it. It's kind of rough, but it feels nice and luxurious. Like not rough in a bad way. There's just, it's, can you hear that? There's texture to it, but it's um, absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, this palette, guys. Look at that. I'm in love. I think it is so unique and special. Like, you get warm tones, you get cool tones. Um, I'll insert some swatches. And let me get my Natasha Denona Zendo palette. 
because I wanted to show you. I adore this palette. It has got warm tones and cool tones. This reminds me of this one, just how it's got like, you know, best of both worlds. And I love mixing and matching. Sometimes it's a little challenging, but honestly, I love the challenge. Okay, so we are just going to do, I'm probably going to, normally I would stick with just the purples or just the warm tones, but I really want to dabble in some of the blues. Um, normally, I need like a neutral tone to go in and kind of go through my crease, but um, it's fine. I'll figure this out. Let me get a big blending brush and let's just start playing okay i want to go in with the shade soft cloud right here i just say these mattes are the they feel like silk i've never ever felt a sh like a matte this soft it's quite something okay let me just kind of my eyes creased and let me just kind of fix up before i go in but yeah as i was saying i'm telling you these mattes are so silky smooth and the shimmers are pigmented and beautiful okay very light it's kind of like pastel -y, so you're gonna have to work it up that's okay you'll have to let me know did you pick up this palette and have you tried odin's eye because you need to they are so so good like this quality blew my mind the hello palette is one of my favorite palettes um, I'm more drawn to that color story, but when I saw this palette, I had to have it. You just, I had to have it. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the shade Galaxy and build up the outer corner to get some more definition. Oh, this looks so pigmented, so be very careful when you go into the pans because you get some kick up. Oh, that is such a pretty purple. This palette mixed with the Hello palette. Oh, that would be such a pretty combo. For purple, that blended out beyond easy. Just like super, super easy and quick. Normally with purples, I struggle. And sometimes I can blend it too much and it kind of be patchy. But mm -mm, not with this. This is so pretty. Okay, so for the lid, I really want to go into the shade Mercury. This pretty like baby blue. And let me just so pretty and see okay so this is more of like a topper it appears it's not super super pigmented so I'm gonna go in with the it's halluc hallucinations I can't really say that because uh, this one's very pigmented and just put that on the middle part of my lid and then I'm going to put the blue more like in the inner corner. On the inner part, I kind of want to go in the shade Meteor and Mercury and kind of mix those two. First, I'm going to do the blue and then I'm going to put the purple on top. But I just can't get over how good these feel. Now, I will say the Hello palette, in my opinion, it has more unique shades. This, it's kind of like what you see is what you get versus the Hello palette had duo chromes, a multi-chrome, um, just I feel like every shimmer was just so so special. Whereas this palette, um, they're just kind of like blue, purple, you know, oranges, um, coppers. It's what you see is what you get. Versus, you know, like I said, the Hello palette, it was just it's so unique in my opinion like you you really need that palette because everything is so special um that's not to say that this quality isn't good i mean it is they're both amazing quality it's just in my opinion the hello palette has way more unique shades now i'm going to go into the shade meteor and rub that on my finger and just kind of put it on top okay now the shade starry sky this shade honestly it's literally like a topper there's hardly any base to it i know in the pan it looks like a pinky purple like beautiful goodness but when you get it on your eyes it or whenever you, i swatched it it was very sheer like the base on it so i'm just going to go on top of my lid for some add a little bit of warmth because we've got um very warm toned on our cheeks and I just want to kind of add a little bit of warm sparkles it may not appear on camera but in person you can definitely see some like yellows and like warm toned sparkles on my lid 
which is exactly what I wanted. And I'm also going to go in with that shade on the inner corner because it's just like, in my opinion, for this palette, I would almost always, like nine times out of ten, go in with that shade on the inner corner. Right, now we're going in and popping that on the inner corner. It's so, so pretty. Okay, so on the lower lash line, I'm going to go into the shade Neptune and put that under there and then I'm probably gonna go in with that purple on the outer edge the shade is so beautiful and pigmented okay now I'm gonna go in with the shade soft cloud on the inner part and blend that in with the darker blue oh, I cannot get over these mattes how soft they are so just be like I said be very careful when you go in the pan Okay, now on the outer corner, I'm going to do some purple. It's called Galaxy. And just kind of connect that with the purple we have going on top. I really wish I had my purple hair because it would look so cute with this look. Should I do purple hair again? I'm really debating. I really want to. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of soften out the edges. Make sure everything is seamless. And then... I'm going to jump off camera, put on some lashes, and I'll be back with the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. My lashes are holding on for dear life, but that's okay. And I was going to say I did use the black for eyeliner, and I had a little bit of fallout, so I kind of have black a little bit under my eyes, but that's okay. Just make sure you really tap off the excess, but I think it looks so, so pretty. I'm in love with this look. Normally, blues really scare me, but um, I don't know. I really love it mixed with the purple, um, so definitely, honestly, this collection is just like a plus plus the eyeshadow palette it's absolutely beautiful and the quality is amazing love it and i cannot wait to continue to play more with it these blushes i'm obsessed literally obsessed if you love a glowy blush the pink one the peaches oh, i cannot get enough I'm so excited to continue to put these all over my face and the highlighter I, I just added some more down my nose. I love it. Even though it's a little bit different, it just gives you that like that golden hour glow, if you will. And I love it. I know in the camera it looks white, but I'm telling you, it has a beautiful red orange hint to it. And I cannot wait to put this all over my face with these blushes i think all these pair so beautifully so yeah i had a really good first impressions um please let me know if you picked up this collection what looks do you want to see but i'm gonna wrap it up my husband just came in here and goes oh is it galaxy day you look like someone off guardians of the galaxy guys i'm telling you he hates it when i wear color but i don't care because i love it i just had to share that with you Wherever you are in the world, I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.